The name Alex de Campi may not be the biggest one in comics, and that's despite having garnered an Eisner nomination for her limited series Smoke, along with artist Igor Corday. But a new collected edition coming from Dark Horse, bringing Smoke together with its sequel Ashes, could change all that. Interestingly, Ashes was actually launched through Kickstarter, with Jimmy Broxton set to handle artwork, yeah. until creative differences caused him to leave the project. Luckily, DeCampi was able to jump into her address book and come up with a slew of talented artists to take over. Uh, but before we go into detail on the art, <laughs> I'm watching you, what are Smoke and Ashes all about? Well, that's kind of a big question, yeah. rather difficult to answer, but you know what? Let's give it a go! Mm. Smoke introduces us to London in the not-so-distant future. An ugly city at the centre of a corrupt country that avoids tipping over into revolution only due to an excess of apathy. I saw similarities to some of Paul Verhoeven's films, with billboards advertising a better life through chemicals, or touting America as the land of the free, terms and conditions apply. All underlining this dark, dystopian image. The Kickstarter pitch describes it as a 250-page bullet ride from the rotting brain of future London to the psychic heart of America. But that could actually describe both books. Yeah. Our heroes are Rupert Kane, a former special ops soldier turned government assassin, and Katie Shah, an investigative reporter. They discover a decades old conspiracy, unbalance the government, and then go on a run for their lives from an enemy they can't possibly defeat. This is one of those books that you finish feeling like you've had an experience. Yeah, you, you do. Know? And because of that, I'm definitely not going to spoil anything for you by telling you any more details but about the, the story. But the art, the art. We can talk about the art now, yes, yes? Yes, we can talk about the art. Okay. I've got to say, although I loved Igor Corday's work in Smoke and in Part of Ashes, I loved seeing all the different styles from artists like Colleen Doran, Richard Pace, R.M. Guerra, and a handful of others which provides a myriad different interpretations of each character and adds a dynamic, shifting feel to the story as it careens along, unanchored. Above all, though, I loved Bill Sienkiewicz's input near the end. Just truly beautiful. Yeah, that was one of my favourite parts as well. Mm. Look, i got to say, I'm really glad I got to read these two books as a whole. You would never know that eight years had actually passed between the two of them. Mm. It just flows so seamlessly into one another. This is amazing. It's such a beautiful story with amazing art, and it's definitely a buy. Yeah, look, I think this one really does have it all. It's got humour, mm -hmm. gore, introspection, science fiction, politics, and, you know, an albino fighting a cyborg. So what else do you need? <laughs> this is definitely a buy from me as well. This is one that will leave you thinking, but also with a smile on your face.